Hello and welcome to my uh, channel. This is part one of my book, Armageddon and the Beasts, the Protocols of the Israeli Adjudicators of Zion. I'm going to show how the corruption is working in Israel, mainly in the Israeli Supreme Court. I will not detail too much since this is only part one. I will present the main proof that the Israeli legal system is uh, committing crimes against humanity, against the citizens of Israel, and I will show how the Supreme Court itself contradicts the natural laws. One well-known natural law, Leviathan, Hobbes, Number 17, nobody, no one can sit on his own case. I will show how the Israeli president, how the president of the Israeli Supreme Court did it. Again, I will not detail too much. I will leave the info for you to read it in my book. Uh, also in the next version that I will improve it because the last version, I uh, wrote it very fastly regard political matters in Israel. So the claim is this is the claim. I will present the claim number four zero. Um, 620318. This is the original claim against the Israeli legal system in the Israeli court. I did it, I applied it in the magistrate court in Israel, Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. You can see this number. This is the original stamp. This is the notary stamp. Here it is the original notary translation. This is the original notary uh, marking in the film. And I will show the translation that I could not affect on the translation. The details are not so important because any case, a judge cannot sit against his own, uh, uh, sorry, a judge cannot sit on his own case. So details are not important for now. Why did I make this claim? I will show the principles. You can see here claims against file number 1470 37, 1437 slash 14. And again, you can see it here. See here, 1437 slash 14. You can see also the name of the president of the Israeli Supreme Court, Mrs. Hayot, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I will let you read it. You can stop the video. In general, it looks like this. I translate it with my translator and it is uh, presented in my book this is another translation of the notary i could not affect or make any influence again the details are not so important now i will show how the president was sitting on her own case Sorry. This is the map of the procedures. You can see it again. Administration of courts. 
Again, this is the notary signatures. I cannot affect on the translation. This is the notary film signature. Okay, this is the Hebrew version of the map of procedures that the administration of court sent me. This is not my file. This is Israeli government file. I will show it again. You can see it here, the name and number of the file. See, 143714. This is my name here, Hebrew version, and this is the judge number, okay? Now I will show the translation. Here it is, the translation. Again, here it is, the notary signature. I cannot influence on the translation. You can see it here, number 1437. Okay, Justice Esther Hayut, District Court, blah, blah, blah. You can see here my name. So, file 1437-14 was a ruling of the um, Chief President of the Israeli Supreme Court, Esther Hayut. So, I made a cleansed claims against her, and now I will show from the same file that she was sitting on, a, on a, her own case. This is the file. Here it is. 1227-20 And you can see here Here, you can see the number down below, 4062-0318. It means on the appeal, Justice President of the Israeli Supreme Court was sitting on her own case. There is no doubt about that. And I will show the original ruling. Here it is, the original ruling. Here it is, the original number, apostyle, stamps, number, originality, you can see here the stamps, originality of the Israeli Supreme Court by itself. I cannot fake it. So for the summary for part one, I have proved the Israeli legal system is corrupted and the corruption starts from the head the israeli president the president of the israeli uh, sorry the president of the israeli supreme court she is directing the corruption so judges can sit on their own cases against the natural laws i will make and have many more videos about this subject. If you would like to contribute me to make evil weaker than justice, you can contact me. Thank you very much.